Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about the loading strategy or the design of the ATL architecture we are going to use for this series. Now if you are new to this series, I would recommend you to go back and watch the previous videos of this playlist. Click on the i button on the top and check out our playlist. We divided the whole lake house loading into three parts, landing, staging and DW. Each layer has its own processing which is supported by Delta Lake and S3. The reason we divided the whole loading strategy into three parts is to make it more simple and allow parallel processing capability. This also allows fault tolerance. Consider a pipeline fails in DW. You don't have to start from the beginning. You can just restart the pipeline for DW and your data will get loaded. To understand the whole loading strategy, consider the source files are dropped in the AWS data lake. The landing layer will read those files and process and keep those files into the landing tables as an append mode. The staging will only read the incremental data from the landing layer and will write in the staging tables as overwrite mode. The DW table will read the data from the staging layer and will insert or update the data as per the requirement. The whole system is supported by job control table, which will help in log execution of each pipeline status and will also help us to achieve both incremental and full load scenarios in the same flow. Now let us check out the working of each layer. We have three layers, landing, staging and DW. The name of the landing layer database would be edw underscore ld. Similarly for staging, it would be edw underscore stg and ew would be edw. The data load in the landing will be in append mode. Similarly in staging, it would be a truncate or a overwrite mode. In DW, it depends on the scenario, whether it will be a SCD1, SCD2 or in append mode. Now in landing, we will keep all the data in string data type. That is to keep the data as it is what we are getting from source. In staging, we will be manipulating the data and keeping them with the respective data types in which we want to load them in the final layer. The DW will have the data in their respective data types. The landing will have the source data as is. We will be appending the data in the landing layer constantly, whereas staging will have only the incremental data read from the landing layer. The DW will always have the historical data or the incremental data. There will be no calculations on the landing layer or any transformation on the landing layer. All calculations and transformations will be majorly done on the staging layer. On DW, we will do only basic calculations and transformations. We will try to push all the calculations and transformations to the staging layer only. In landing layer, there will be no joining of tables. We will try to read the data and keep as it is. We will not join the data with any of the table. In staging, we will do basic joins, which whichever is required for transformations. In DW, we will do all the joins that is required to populate the surrogate keys. Finally, for landing, we will only read the incremental data from the source. In staging, we will read the incremental data from the landing. And in DW, since the staging is an overwrite or a truncate load, we will read whatever data is present in the staging and will load it into DW. This is the simple loading strategy that we are going to use as our data lake house loading architecture. Keep learning, keep growing, keep sharing.